This is a Sessions video tutorial, Preparing to Paint. Before you start painting, there are a number of things you've got to do to prepare your materials. In this video, I'm going to talk about mixing your medium and preparing your palette. Mediums are oily materials that you can mix with a dilutant to speed up or slow down the drying time of your paint. They can also add body to your paint, flatten the brush strokes on your painting for a smoother surface, or make your paint look more matte or glossier. Here I am mixing some odorless mineral spirits and stand oil in a separate container. You always want to have a bottle of medium at your side as you paint, so let's mix some. The standard proportions are 60% mineral spirits and 40% stand oil. Okay, now I'm going to set up the colors of my palette to prepare for painting. When I'm preparing to paint, I will usually lay out about 12 pure colors in order of value from dark to light. I'm going to arrange the colors along the top of the palette, leaving the bottom of the palette nearest me free for mixing. I recommend you lay out your palette going from dark to light and cool to warm, from left to right. Let's go through my recommended basic palette. Ivory black is a strong, cool black. You will see that it quickly darkens any color you are mixing, desaturating it. Ultramarine blue is a deep blue that is good to use to darken and cool your color mixtures. Cerulean blue is a grayish blue. Use cerulean blue when you want to cool or dull a color you are mixing without making it too dark. Sap green is a rich, dark green and is also good for darkening colors. You can mix sap green along with ultramarine blue and cadmium red deep to get a rich black color. Permanent green is a bright, almost apple color green. It is more yellow than sap green. Burnt umber and burnt sienna are good colors to use when setting up your underpainting. They are also good colors to use when you need to slightly warm or darken a color without making the colors too bright. Cadmium red Orange and yellow are very intense hues that are good for mixing as they don't lose their intensity easily. You will see that it doesn't take much of a cadmium color in your mixture to greatly change the hue of the color you are mixing. Each color typically comes in a light, medium, and deep variation. The only difference between the three is that deep has more of the actual pigment in the paint, where medium and light have more filler, making the colors less intense. Yellow ochre and Naples yellow are also double colors like cerulean blue. They are good to use when you wish to make a color warm without necessarily making it brighter or more intense. Notice I'm laying on an extra helping of titanium white paint. That's just a fact of life when you're painting. You're going to use a lot of white paint when you're mixing throughout the painting process, so get used to the fact that you'll need more. It is important to set up your palette the same way every time. You don't want to have to go looking for a color when you're mixing paint. It is also important to set up your palette in this manner as it makes it easier to see color relationships on your palette while mixing. Okay, now that my palette is set up, I'm ready to paint.